Hi, I'm Erin Moore with Compassionate Pet Solutions. I'm going to talk about how to test your cat's vision at home. Of course, the best way to cat test your cat's vision is to take it to a vet. The veterinarians who specialize in vision and eye problems, and that's by far the best way to test your cat's vision. But if you want to try something at home to see how your cat reacts, a good thing to do is to test their vision by moving stuff around the room. Cats are very adaptive, so sometimes they can be blind, yet still be able to maneuver around the room because they know where the furniture is. But if you take a chair or a box or something and place it in your cat's normal path, if they can't see it, they're probably going to run right into it. So that's a good way to kind of determine if your cat can see, if they can maneuver around objects that aren't normally there. Now we're going to talk about tests you can do at home that will help to see if your cat has good vision. One of the tests is called the menace test. And basically you just take the hand, move it slowly towards the eye, and see if he blinks. You want to make sure you don't make any real big movements or anything that can cause a lot of air current. Because even if the cat is blind, if he can sense you moving your hand because you're making a lot of noise or some air current, he'll still blink. So you want to be nice and slow about it. Just kind of get up close like you're going to touch his eye and he should wince and kind of pull back. The other thing you can do is called the tracking response. The tracking response has a cotton ball and he follows the cotton ball to the floor. The good thing about cotton is that it's very soft and it's very light. It doesn't make any noise. You wouldn't want to drop anything that makes noise or he's going to look wherever the thing dropped because he can hear it. So you use cotton and make them still trace it and without any air current or any other distractions. And that can be very effective to see if your cat is able to see. The other thing you can try, so if you have a bright light, you can actually shine the light at them and they should kind of wince and move their head away. If you had an eye that was dilated and you shined a light in it, the eye should kind of squinch down. The pupil should get smaller. And if the pupil gets smaller, then that's the eye reacting to the light. But a good thing to mention about this test is that it's not always the most accurate test for blindness. Our cat's eyes should respond this way, so if your cat's eye doesn't respond, then you know something's wrong, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're blind. There can be other medical problems that cause that, and sometimes even blind cats can still respond to that test. So you basically shine a light into your cat's eye when it's dilated, and it should shrink up as a response, so pupils should shrink. That's a normal response. If it doesn't happen, you need to take your cat to the vet because there's definitely something that's wrong, but it could have nothing to do with the vision.